Hey guys, so today instead of a tutorial, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because we're going to have a top five. And this is going to be my top five favourite effects to do when I'm out performing, whether that be at a party or just uh, just in general for my friends when they when they want to see something really. And I've ranked them um, sort of like one to five. So one is going to be my ultimate go-to effect and five something I still do very regularly, uh, but probably not as much as number one. Uh, so I just thought this video would be a little bit fun for you guys because I often get questions um, what effects that I, what effects are my favourites to do when I'm performing but please uh, be sure to leave in the comments section your top 5 as well because I'm very interested to know uh, which effects you guys are liking and if I haven't covered uh, some of the effects that you guys do uh, maybe I'll, I'll cover them in future videos too. So with that all being said, let's get into it. So we're going to be kicking off the list with some honourable mentions first of all. So these didn't make the top five, but I still do them um, quite often. A lot of these are sort of gimmick effects, so you need um, either like some gimmicks from the Ultra Graph deck or something along those lines. So a lot of my top five are impromptu things or things that I can be set up very quickly. But these these honourable mentions here, a lot of these, you know, I've had to plan in advance um, and know that I'm going to do them. So. Obviously, as a result of that, I just don't end up doing them as often. Because sometimes I just don't have, don't have the gimmick with me. But the the, mention, the honorable mentions are sort of effects like hundred dollar race routine. Um, so I taught this on my channel. It'll be in the description, hopefully, if I remember. Um, that's a really powerful effect. You've got color changing deck by Chris Angel, which you need a uh, red and blue door back and forth. And if I've got one of those with me, it's a bit of a pain to form, but Again, really good effect. As I said, the Ultra Graph deck, uh, which I have somewhere up there. I'm going to do a video on that in the future, definitely, because I think you guys will really be intrigued by some of the great cards they've got. And uh, other effects like Seal the Lucas, Twisting the Aces, um, and the Biddle Trick as well, which don't take that much setup, but uh, they just unfortunately weren't able to make it into the top five. Those are the honorable mentions. Let's take a look at number five. Alright, so coming in at number 5, we have just sandwich effects in general, so I just love sandwich effects, I think they're, uh, they're really great, you can do so many different reveals, I did a video, um, 7 different sandwich reveals on my channel um, a few months ago, if you haven't seen that, links will be in the description, um, but I just went through loads of different ways that you can get into a sandwich, so once you've sort of loaded the sandwich like so, so we've got the selection, uh, between the two cards, there's just loads of different uh, methods to reveal to the spectator. One of my personal favourites at the moment, which I'm favouring, is I found it on the wire. It's by Oliver Smith. It's called Pop Sandwich. Again, that's what we did in the description. Uh, but this is a really great move. Uh, you you have the kings on top of the pack, and then you can visually make the selection sort of jump between um, the two kings. Um, that wasn't the best performance there, but you, you get the idea. If you want to see uh, what it's really like, head over to the wire and get, like I said, in the description. But I just love sandwich effects. Often I'll make it into a routine. So I'll do a, a, just a standard sandwich reveal at the start. And then uh, for my kicker ending, I'll do lunchbox, which is uh, which is one of my original effects on the wire, where the sandwich card gets sandwiched in between the two things inside the card box. Um, but the spectators expects it to be sandwiched in the deck, so it's it's quite fun to perform. But that's something I perform very regularly, and I guess great reactions every time. I don't think I've ever had a really bad reaction. It's quite easy as well. So there are lots of things going for that effect. Let's move on now to number four. All right, coming in at number four is two card Monty. Um, so I think David Blaine. I saw David Blaine perform this. Uh, I was watching some YouTube videos and I. Oh, that's, a, that's a great trick and it's, it is a great trick, it's, it takes very little setup. You, you can set it up in, in front of the spectator, I've done that loads of times, where you're, just, uh, you're talking to them in the middle of the, uh, just after an effect and you know, if the deck's facing you, you can just be setting up those, uh, those four cards on top of the deck right in front of them, they don't know what's going on, um, and then just do a few false cuts, no one's any the wiser. You know? Um, so I just set that up on the fly and then uh, bust it out 
and it always gets great reactions as well. I think I performed it um, to my flatmate the other day and he was he was amazed by it as well. So another great trick, easy setup, great reaction, very easy to do. So that makes it in at number four. All right, so coming in at number three, we have another David Blaine effect, which is here then there, uh, an absolute killer effect. It gets great reactions every single time you'll do this, I promise. And it's super easy to do, again, um, if you don't know what this effect is, here then there is, I have a video on it, on my channel actually, which uh, gives you a good performance, and then it teaches you how to do the effect. Honestly, this, this is something you will convince uh, spectators that you can do miracles with this effect. That's how strong it is. Um, it's, it's not as powerful as Seal with a Kiss, which takes this effect to the next level, so it involves sign cards. But I, I put this on my list higher than that, and um, obviously Seal with a Kiss only gets an honorable mention because it takes a lot more setup. This is something which, again, you only need duplicate cards for, and to set it up takes about five seconds. So that's a common theme on this list. Uh, easy setup, easy perform, killer reactions. You can't uh, go wrong with this effect really. So that's coming in at number three. All right, coming in at number two, we have one of the greatest effects to ever be invented, in my opinion. Um, the invisible deck, of course. Yeah, this had to make the list. Um, I know I said that I said that sort of the honorable mentions were most of the gimmick effects, but you just can't leave the invisible deck out. Um, because you know, I, I take it with me pretty much everywhere because it's it's that powerful. It doesn't really need setup. It's more of a case of once you performed it, you just have to uh, make sure it's all reset. Literally, it takes about one second. It's really easy to perform once you get in the knack of how to spread the cards, and the reactions that the Invisible Deck will get you are something else. Um, you know, so if you haven't got one, you need to get. I can't emphasize enough how you need to go and get an Invisible Deck. It will change your, um, your your card your card magic forever. But something has beaten it to the number one spot. Um, and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know that one of my favourite effects is, of course, the ambitious card, which comes in at number one. So the ambitious card team takes the top spot. If you if you don't know how to do that, if you haven't seen it, you don't know what it's about. I have a three-part tutorial on this effect and uh, an sort of an introduction video shows the performance so those videos will be again linked in the description this is going to be a long description um, but this is the ambitious card routine is an amazing effect it gets killer reactions every time um, and it's just a really excellent way uh, to integrate all all the skills you've been learning on this channel um, all your different card moves into one routine and there's so many different ways you can go with it as well there's so many different kicker endings you can do um, so many different things you can do in the middle. There's just loads of different options. And the thing about the ambitious card routine is you sort of build it up yourself. Uh, everyone's everyone's ambitious card is different as well. Uh, so it's, it's sort of a work of art for every magician. I see it as, and uh, it's one of my probably my go. It's definitely my go-to effect. You know, if someone walks up to me and says, "Do me a card trick," I will do the ambitious card more likely uh, than anything else. So that rounds out my top five guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment, a uh, favorite comment and subscribe. And like, I've got that in the wrong order. Um, and as I said in the beginning, comment your uh, your top five and I'll check out uh, your suggestions. So I'm really intrigued to know what you guys like to perform as well. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on on my channel guys, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. But as always, this has been Clippity7, and I'll see you later.